Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to display journal entries using the so-called T-Account application. I'm here in my Fiori Launchpad and in the search bar we will type in display journal entries in T-Account view. Select this application. And now we are forwarded to the start screen to display our journal entries in a so-called T-Account view. First of all, as always, click on your user icon and on the About section, we are talking about the application F3664. If you can't find this application, then this is because you do not have the necessary user roles assigned to your user. So far so good. Over here you can see a filter section, where we first need to filter for a journal entry. So we select the search symbol over here. We must include at least a company code and a fiscal year. Also there are many more filters we could utilize. However, for now I will select Go. And here you can see the so-called anchor documents. So an anchor document always consists of a document number, a company code, as well as a ledger and the fiscal year. So you can see here, for instance, we have the same document. However, it was posted to four different ledgers, 0C, 0E, 0L and 2L as well. We can select here one or even multiple of those documents like that and then we can click on OK. So far so good. Now our filters are applied. We need to select Go. Now you can see a kind of split structure opened. Here on the left hand side we can see the journal entries that we selected and on the right hand side or in the middle part so to say we can see the journal entries displayed in this T-Account view. So T-Account means with a debit and a credit side looking like a T-shape. Let's first inspect here the left hand side. You can see right now all of the journal entries are marked. However, I could unmark them like that and then just select single ones so that only the balances for the single journal entry are being displayed. If I select more, you can see that here more journal entries will be displayed accordingly. Also, we could sort the journal entries with this button. Right now this does not make any sense because they would be sorted by the document number and as we are referring right now to the same document, this doesn't make any difference. However, if there would be different numberings, then we could sort them ascending or descending. Next off, you can see that there is this little symbol over here. We can actually click on this one and then you can see that we can define what should be displayed. So if I deselect here, for instance, creation time and fiscal year and click on OK, then you can see on the left hand side that the information about the creation time and the fiscal year vanished. Let me do it again so you can see the difference. If I activate them again, you can see more information is being displayed accordingly. Furthermore, you can see that there is a symbol called tag. What we can do with that is we can actually highlight the different journal entries. Let me actually scroll out a bit of the screen so that you can see a bit more. I could click here on the symbol and then choose a color. Once I chose this color, you will see here in the middle part that the respective accounting entries will be highlighted in this color. So let's actually click on this one. And now you can see here that those three journal entries belong to each other. If I do the same with another color for the next document, like blue, you can see that now the next one was highlighted and so on. So this way you can easily identify the different debit and credit postings. So far for the left hand side, let's now focus on the middle part. In the middle part, you can see the actual T accounts. They are separated by the type of account. So either it's a balance sheet account, as you can see, but if I minimize this and if I scroll down a bit, we can also inspect the profit and loss accounts that were triggered by the financial posting. We can always collapse the view by clicking on this button. So now only the profit and loss accounts are being displayed and the same also counts for the individual T accounts. So I could collapse this T account if necessary. Next off, if we go a bit more to the right, you can see that over here the total balance is being displayed and also for the account types, so for the balance sheet accounts, a debit will be displayed in this instance and for the profit and loss account, a credit. Let's scroll up again. Next off, you can see we can even expand or collapse all T accounts at once. Let's actually click on the latter one. Now all the balance sheet accounts were collapsed. And if I select the other button, then they are expanded again. Next off, right now we have here the default view. However, we could also change to this table view by clicking on this button. Then 
The information reloads and now we can see the data clustered in a table view. You may have also noticed that now the journal entry and also the AGL account are highlighted in blue. This means that we can click on them. If I click here on journal entry, I could actually navigate to different applications like the journal entry analyzer or also the manage journal entries new version. Let's do the latter one. By the way, I explained you this application in another video of mine. I will leave you the link in the description of this one. Here you can inspect then the journal entries. Let's go back. Also we can inspect more information for the GL accounts by clicking on them and then navigating for instance to the GL account balances. For now we will leave it as is. Next off you can see there is a settings icon over here as well. We could actually display lots of more information. However, let me click on cancel for now because this won't have an impact if we selected the table view. It will only have an impact if we selected here the default view. Let me actually show this to you. If we just select all and click on OK, then you can now see that all the information is being displayed in the default view. However, the table view itself did not change. Last but not least, there's another settings icon. If we select this one and now select all of the columns and hit on OK, you can see that in this way, also the table structure will update and display all the columns we chose accordingly. Last but not least, we can also export this table view here by clicking on this button. Then it will be exported as an Excel spreadsheet. Or we can select this button here and choose export as to define in which kind of format we want this table to be exported. A couple more hints from my side. You can see that there are two areas displayed as standard over here and also over here. If we select this one, we can actually save the filter criteria that we used in the upper section of the screen. So I could select this drop down, click on save as and then provide a name for the view, custom view. And I can set it as default so that the next time I navigate into this application, then the filters in the upper section will already load. Or I can also make it publicly available so that others can utilize this filter as well. For now, we'll leave it as is. However, this does not count for the table we can see over here. If I want to save this layout, I select it. Then I need to click on this button and save it over here. But in the end, this is the same procedure. So just be aware that we have two options here. Either you save your filter criteria in the upper part of the screen or, and this is an end or an or, you can do both. You can save the table layout you created. Please be aware that this only counts for the table layout. This does not count for our T account view. As you can see, there is no standard button over here. Last but not least, you can also always click on this button and send your current layout to another colleague of yours so that he or she can click on the link and display and see exactly what you have entered in this application. Okay, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to my channel and activate the bell. Also make sure to subscribe to my Patreon, where I post free configuration documents. The link is in the bio of my channel. Thanks a lot and see you next time.